Little Sue became friends with the dumb girl Little Bell during these boring days. Little Sue learned two sign language words from Arjun: "Hello, goodbye." Point your index finger out. You, thumbs up. Good. Wave your hand. Goodbye. Little Sue decided to teach Little Bell to speak these two words: "Hello, goodbye." But Little Bell refused any pronunciation. She just laughed. Little Sue washed the hands for Little Bell, took a small bench, and sat on the balcony. Little Bell stood between her legs. Little Sue stuffed Little Bell's left middle finger into her mouth, placed it on the tip of her tongue, and let her other palm cover her abdomen. Little Sue said, "Hello." Little Sue said goodbye. Little Sue repeated these two words, demonstrating them over and over again. Little Sue tried to make her hand feel something and let her feeling establish the relationship between breath, tone, position, and pronunciation. Hello, goodbye. Little Bell looked at Little Sue's lips, eager to try. Her dark eyes kept looking around. She was guarded and curious about her own eagerness. Ajuan's delivery date was advanced four days. At about two o'clock in the morning, Ajuan's cry opened her green eyes in the night. Her screaming doesn't sound like a human anymore. In the process of giving birth, a woman is actually a female animal. Xiamo and Little Su were awakened together. Little Su said, "Why don't you go?" Xiamo's eyes have not been opened. He has been insomnia for several nights and just fell asleep today. Xiamo said with his closed eyes, "I'll go." Little Su poked him with her toe and said, "Hurry up, time! Why are you so slow?" Xiamo opened his eyes when he zipped up, as if a hand of sand is rubbed in his eyes. The door has been opened, and Ajuan is being held by Master Gang to move out. Master Gang is in a hurry. He couldn't remember Xiamo's name at the moment, and his mouth was full of painter. Ajuan's body was heavier than expected. Her arms were supported. But her hands were supporting her abdomen. After Ajuan moved out the threshold, she changed the way of screaming. She held her abdomen and straightened her eyes and screamed, "Son, son!" Ajuan's son is as hairy as his father. Within an hour after Ajuan was laying on the delivery bed, he walked out by himself. He finished this process in only sixteen minutes. He refused the medical treatment, even the help of doctors and nurses, and walked slowly out of the mother's body with a suit of fetal fat and blood. His appearance is only a pair of football pants less than Xiamo when he was out of the red shelly cap. The little nurse said excitedly, "Why is it so smooth?" What's the matter? So smooth. The old nurse held the head of the little thing with one hand and his waist with the other, and said nonchalantly, "Weren't we all that smooth then? Women nowadays aren't able to bear children." The little nurse sent Master Gang the news of his son. When fathers are at this time, some selflessness is indispensable. It is common to be speechless or crying, but Master Gong surprised the little nurse. He asked the little nurse to say "son" three times in a row. Master Gong stopped speaking after listening to the nurse's words. He knelt on the terrazzo floor, held two big fists in front of his chest, raised his head, and shouted, "The sky has eyes, and the sky has eyes." Little Sue finally saw Little Bell's bad temper. 
Little Belle didn't see his family when she woke up early this morning, which was not the case in the past. Often, when Little Belle wakes up, the first thing to do is to pat the bed. This is a ritual. After patting the bed, it must be Dad who comes over. Dad dresses her, then she sits on the side of the bed, and then Dad will put her shoes on. The washing and breakfast are all handled by Mom. After all of them are done, and the day of Little Belle has just begun. After so many years, she has become accustomed to it, and it has become a formula, a common combination of love and being loved. Little Belle was born dumb, and guilt became the center of paternal and maternal love. Little Belle became a sad topic for them. Master Gun said to people time and time again, "I wish to live this life for her." They did everything for Little Belle except for living. After waking up, Little Belle patted the bed. She did not see her father or even her mother. Little Belle stood barefoot in front of the door, and the train swayed in front of her, coming and going. They dare not love her today. She must wait for her father and mother. She must wait until they admit their mistakes with a cold dog before she will open her mouth to eat. Humph. Master Gun brought six characters from the hospital at noon. He shouted to Little Su and Xiamo at the window, "Sun, sun, sun!" Xiamo and Little Su walked to the window together to congratulate him. Master Gun was so happy that he smiled with teeth on his face. No one expected Little Belle to bite out at such a time. She was like a dog pouncing up with a weird bark. The cry of Little Belle was weird, and it bit Master Gun's pants in a bite and stretched it like a bow. Master Gun picked up Little Belle and kept saying, "You have a younger brother. You even have a younger brother." Little Belle's two hands kept beating on Master Gun's face, and her mouth was full of screams. Master Gun smiled and turned his face and said to Xia Mo, "The children nowadays are not like humans anymore." Master Gun took Little Belle back to the bed and hid at the door. The father and daughter performed today's beginning ceremony again. Little Belle patted the bed. Master Gun rushed out from behind the door and ran up to kiss Little Belle again and again. Master Gun picked up his daughter, changed her clothes, patted Little Belle's butt lightly, and said, "Little girl, you can do this tomorrow. You have a brother. Little girl, you can do this tomorrow anymore." Listening to the movement next door, Little Su said. The little thing really has a temper. Xia Mo lit a cigarette and said disapprovingly, "It's all like this. All children are like this now, and so would ours if it were born." Little Su dug her ear with her finger, smiled, and said thoughtfully, "It's like this already."